cooking up. All right, well, welcome back to our 2,000 subscribers. Woo! All right, everybody have the balloons, right? Okay, are we ready to start the show? All right, so let's go ahead and bring out our first contestant for the day, and we're gonna go ahead and bring out our first person. Hi, my name is Jalen Bass. I'm a realtor in Chicago. I am 22 years old, and I feel like I have a lot more to offer than a few people, so. Today, I am looking to open my horizons and just see what the dating community offers and, you know, just feel a sense of the market. I would say the thing about me is that I'm very different from my generation. Yes, I am 22, but majority of the people that I gravitate towards are a lot more mature, have their priorities in order, and I feel like that's where I am. And I'm open to the fun, too. I'm definitely two different types of people, but I think that... We can just have a lot of fun together. Let's experience life even if, it's just, even if it's just for this period of time. The thing that makes me a standout from the crowd is definitely my personality. I feel like I'm not as catty as majority of the gay market is. I think that we are here to experience a lot of life and just have fun together and really enjoy our time on the earth. So that's what, what I'm primarily here for. I would say I keep my optimism at a 10 always because you never want to restrict yourself from opportunities. I think that I'm also okay with the actual results being a zero, cause me, obviously. But, you know, yeah. Hello, how's it going? I'm good, how are you? Pretty good. And um, can you tell the contestants what your name is? My name is Jalen, I'm 22. Okay, Jalen, 22. All right, all right, and where are you from? I am from Chicago. I'm a real estate broker here in residential and commercial, so. Okay, okay. Got a good feeling all the city. You know, south side, west side, north side, suburbs, everywhere. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. And how long have you been in real estate? For three years now. Okay, nice, nice, nice. All right, well, so far it's looking pretty good for you. We haven't had anybody pop their balloons except besides one person. Yeah, let's so, ask them a few questions, you know. Okay, we got two people, so let's just mm -hmm. go ahead and go. Let's start with the first one, right? Well, actually, let's come back here. Let's go to contestant okay. number four. Hello, what's your name? Tokyo. Hi, Tokyo. Hello, Tokyo. Nice to meet you. How are you? And Tokyo, why did you, um, why did you pop your balloon? Um, it's enough. Okay. You're cute, though. Simple, you know. Okay, but do you, up, yeah. do you have an explanation why, or is there, is that just not your type, or? It looked a little ashy down there on the ankles. Oh. A little ashy on the ankles? Mm -hmm. Okay. I like moisturized me. Being pale toned is different, but, right. Okay. Oh, okay, word. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm white skin, so I know that if it's the same ashy. <laughs> mm, all right then. Well, we brown skin, so right. well we could go to the next person. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's just go ahead and move to the next person then. Okay. Not your type. How you doing? Hello. How you? What's up? What's up? Hey, you're back. Yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> um, can you tell the audience what your name is? What's up, everybody? I'm Teddy. Okay. Hey, Teddy. Um, and Teddy, you popped your balloon today. Why did you pop your balloon? Um, just not my type, to be honest. Well, I feel like you're very well dressed. You look very clean and very nice, but you know. I just rather go for my type. Okay, thank you. Okay. What's your type exactly? Um, I mean, I don't want to be bold, but he my type. Oh. Oh. Well, can you describe for the audience exactly what your type is? What are What are you looking for? Because you you came back on the show, so what are you kind of looking for for today? Um, I don't know. I just usually just have a vision. Like when you see a person, you know, it just you it strikes them as like longevity. Like, oh, I can see myself like with this person when I get older. So, so you just can't really see yourself. Growing with this person, individual. Not, not even just gonna say growing, but it's just like like attractiveness. So like, they're I not. Feel like you look good, but you're not like my type of sex appeal. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't fuck you. Like we'll be like cool, we'll be friends. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. And is he your type? I mean, I would say yeah. We would get to know each other, and I would. I'm very more of a personality person, so I feel like I have to know who you are in there rather than out here. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah. I mean, he's cute for sure, though. I wouldn't. You know, throw the shade back or nothing like that, so. Oh, damn, I don't think it was any shade, though. No, it wasn't no shade. Okay, okay, okay. It was, you know, you just got to have that feeling, that vision. And, like, mm -hmm. maybe it's You know what you're inclined to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You exactly. Know, definitely for, like, the long run type of thing. It's just more like a long run. Like, I'll fuck with you as a friend. Yeah. But, like, I, like okay, let's say this. I don't see you bending me over. Ooh. Uh-oh. 
Oh, so you're a bottom. Person. Okay. <laughs> oh, so, both ways. Oh. 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 Okay, but okay. So how do you identify? Because we don't really know what he how he get down. So. I mean, yeah, you never know who's on my bed, but I am first. So you know, appearances can be deceptive. But it's not about being deceptive. Once again, it's just a. Uh, you just, I wouldn't want to look back at you clapping my cheeks. Let's say that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. We got it from him. Well, so. let's go ahead and just move on then. What's your name? Royo. Royo. Um, and Royo, you popped your balloon today. And can you tell us why you popped your balloon? Honestly, um, I don't like the first thing right here. What's this? The, oh, the mic? The that's not mine. Oh, oh, so it was an accident. You judging the wrong stuff. Thought, right. I thought, I thought we could go to the next one right here. <laughs> we good. Right. Like Hello, and what's your name? <laughs> Valentino. It's not mine. I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Valentino, Valentino, you popped your balloon today. Why did you pop your balloon? Um, me personally, you you know, you well dressed or whatever, mm. very well put together person. Um, me personally, I like people, of course, who are put together and have like um, an exclusive personality. Like I get to see you um, only how I see you okay. type shit. But um, we're not explaining why you don't like. I don't me. know. Yeah, I feel yeah. like I feel yeah. like I see you as somebody who is like a friend. So you really kind of see them as a friend. You don't really see them romantically. Yeah. Okay. 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 We don't gotta jump through hoops whatsoever. So you kind of see yourself like, hey, that's my mm. good girlfriend. We can go outside. Yeah. All right. yeah. Exactly. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Do my taxes type shit. <laughs> okay, and I'm a realtor though. So if anybody wants to buy property, <laughs> not taxes. I don't I know about taxes. And so is that. is Valentina your type? I would say no. I think that is more of a friend, you know. I think we could definitely vibe well, you know. Okay. For sure. Okay, cool. So. Okay, hello. Um you popped your balloon today. Yeah. Can you tell us why you popped your balloon? Um you said you did real estate? Yes. Real estate brokers are liars. And then you said deceptive, so everything about you just naturally came off as inauthentic. Oh, okay. Well, you don't know me, but that's... That's the point. Perception is fine, yeah. So you feel like anybody that's in real estate are kind of like liars? You don't really trust them? That's what you're saying? That's why you popped your balloon? They're all about appearance, not personality. So do you know me, though? I feel like I know enough about you now. Not at all, but... Okay. Okay. So, all right, but so appearance wise, appearance wise, do you feel like they're your type? Yeah. If good you didn't bones. know me, we met each other on the street. You know, we just came across each other and had a genuine connection where we started speaking. Do you think we could go somewhere with that? Mm, probably not. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. Thank you. Let's go ahead and move right here. Hello. Can we have your name, where you're from, how old you are, and why did you pop your balloon today? Um, I'm Devin. From Chicago now. Hi, Devin. Um, I popped my balloon, not originally, but I think that you probably are very accomplished at a young age and stuff like that, but you kind of have an air to you okay. that I'm so laid back that I'm pretty sure we probably wouldn't vibe. Just Air? What does that mean? I said he has a little air to him, like, like a condescending tone. A little mm. like so you feel like he's a little condescending? Yeah, but just a little bit. Okay. It's it's funny enough that you mentioned that I get that throughout my life fully, so I think... Mm. I've gotten out of me many a times, but once people got to know me, it's been a lot different. But mm -hmm. I understand that. So, okay. Yeah. All right. So, do you feel like, attraction wise, aesthetic, do you feel like he's your type or? I feel like I would give it the opportunity for us to get to know each other. I think from there, we would kind of decide. Like, looks wise, it wouldn't be a jump jump per se, but I do feel like I would give you the time of day for us to speak, you know? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so we got, let's see, we got two people that have their balloons still. Um, let's go right here. Hello, so you still have your balloon. Can you tell us your name, age, and why you have interest in this young man today? Uh, my name is Titus, I'm 27, and he well dressed, and I didn't hear him say nothing that was like really out the air, so. Cause I don't know what else we were Yeah, hearing, later so. on, like, I would have to get to know him a little bit more to like really judge him. Okay. Mm. Okay, so aesthetic wise, attraction wise, you are feeling them now? Yeah, I like uh, I like the suit that's how it. Okay. okay. So this is your type? Yeah. Okay, so you was, you see yourself going out on a date? Okay. Of course. Yeah, he's okay. very cute, really okay. nice smile, you know. Thank you. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, and what about you? Do you feel like, do you feel like this is your type here or? 
Yeah, for sure. I would definitely give it the opportunity today. You know, we go out, you know, go on a few days, get to know each other. I feel like you cannot base it on the initial experience of someone because you don't know who they are within the layers. You just kind of have an idea of what you set for them. Mm -hmm. So give it the opportunity a day and let's see where it goes. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, thank you. Let's move along right here. All right, so can, hello, can we have your name, age, where you're from, and why did you keep your balloon today? All right, I'm Eli, I'm 24, uh, from the Burbs. Uh, I kept my balloon, uh, much like what Titus said, I didn't hear anything or say anything that was any bad. Um, your feet don't look ashy to me, but I am light skin slash brown skin, so, I mean, I do see what, I don't know. But yeah, it's just, it's nothing there that's like, oh my God, no. So, okay, cool. So you see yourself also going out on a date with them? I can go out on a date with her. Do you see yourself taking them out on a date or them taking you out on a date? Uh, I would initiate it first, but I definitely would love to get that um, treatment back. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. Okay. So you have your balloon. Can you tell us your name, age, and why you still have interest in him? My name is Bon, and I am 23. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I can say is what I'm interested in is um, you're career-driven, which is a pro for me. I love people that are career-driven. Um, it seems like you're going after something really good in life for longevity. Um, however, though, before I even did this, I wanted to let you know that I do think that you would be somebody I would go on a date with, but I also could see us being really friends. Okay. So I'm going to pop it. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay. Yeah. You have freedom of choice. You know, whatever. We could definitely be friends, though. Just, yeah. Okay, okay. So you just kind of see more of a friend's type of yeah. zone. Yeah, like, but get I to know each to other. Them. Yeah, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, right, well, let's yeah. move back down here then. Right. All right, so out of these two guys right here, I want you to decide who is kind of more so your type. Um... Because that's the difficult question. That's the difficult really question, like but you got both. two people. Don't give me the balloon. Oh, no. Can I ask a question? Yeah, you can ask whatever you want. You all have exes. No. You don't have any exes. You never had a boyfriend. No. Have you? I had one. I want to know how the people in your life that you're closest to ex would explain your character. Like they say, uh, very humorous, very um, friendly. Not in a way of like that bad in a relationship, but in a way that's like I'm giving. I can always support my friends and family if they ever need it. So. Okay. And you? Same thing. I'm a generous person. I'm always there for the people around me that I love. You know, like really truthfully. If I f with you. No, you can curse. <laughs> <laughs> but if I yeah, it's up, sorry. <laughs> what would you say is the worst characteristic you have that I would have to acclimate to with us being together? Uh, you know, like, are you a bad texter? Are you a bad communicator? Do you like to have your own alone time? You kind of handle things by yourself. Like, what would you say is the I'll honest, thing I'll have to I, be aware of? I've been single for a long time, so I do love my alone time. Uh, I'm not always the best communicator in terms of texting, but you give me a call and I'll mm -hmm. with you, like, I'll answer that call. How long have you been single? Oh, a long time. <laughs> like how many years? What's a long time? <laughs> What's a long time? Is it a, a six months? <laughs> five I mean, years? I mean, I'm not or... going to um, yeah. divulge in the year, but um, mm -hmm. the years. But, you know, I just decided to stay single for multiple reasons. I was in college. I didn't want a relationship. I wanted to focus on that. Um, so, yeah. Okay. All right. So you got a decision. What you, how you feeling? You, Are you ready to themselves? focus on a relationship now? It depends on the vibe. Like, definitely, like, we vibing out. Like, I know you fuck with me. I fuck with you. We locked in. Definitely. Are you ready for a relationship now? Okay, so. Or are me, you here for the fun? Me, personally, I feel like I'm here for not the fun, but I'm here for, like, you know, like, I don't want to, I have to get to know you first. Yeah. I can't just go in. I mean, not all bad. Like, yeah. we're committed to each other, but, like, but like, but are you like, ready for that mentally? For us to be, mentally, like, giving it the mentally, energy? I could be ready to commit to somebody. Uh -huh. But, like, I have to see how you are as a person to see if you, like, somebody I would be willing to commit to. 
the film they see. Mm -hmm. And how old are we to? I'm 24. I'm 27. And how old are you? How do we feel about me being 22? You're a little. No, yeah. <laughs> so you feel like 22 is too young? That's too young for me. And how old are you again? I'm 27. You're 27, okay. So you, they need to be like, what, 25 and up maybe? 25 and up, like 24 at the least. But 25 and up, if anything. I just wanted to let him make the decision because I already knew what my decision was. <laughs> oh, oh. I knew what his decision was. Yeah. All right. So it's yeah. looking like we found a match for today. I was going to y'all both feeling each other. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I accept the match. Can we get a clap, please? One time for the certified lover boy. Okay, period, yeah. period. Can I get y'all right here? Maybe y'all can hug or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. This ain't our <laughs> letter <laughs> proposal. <laughs> okay, we, cool. Yeah. Yeah, they all can so. All right, so we found our first match. Let's see if our next contestant can find love. Hey, what's up? I'm JT. I'm here from Houston, Texas. I'm 31 years old, and um, I'm just here to hopefully find my match, find my person, you know. I've kissed so many frogs, and you know, frogs come with warts. Clock it. What makes me a good catch is I'm pretty rational, pretty understanding, but yet at the same time, fun. I'm such a vibe. Um, I like, I, I mean, I'm very humble and I'm very genuine. So like, I'm just pretty level-headed. So I think that's just the best way to be. What makes me a standout from the crowd is, yet that I'm a very, very hard worker and I have a very, very uh, busy work schedule. I'm able to balance that with fun um, and doing things I like from a day-to-day -day basis. Let's go ahead and bring them out. Hey, how's it going? Can I have you step over here for me? What's up? How are you? Fine. Good, good. Um, can you tell us your name? I'm JT. Hey, JT. Um, can you tell us how old you are and why you're looking for love and where you're from? Um, I'm 31. I'm from Houston. I'm looking for love uh, because, like I said, I kiss too many frogs. I'm tired of kissing frogs. And, you know, I'm looking for somebody that's really worth my time. Okay. All right. So we had a couple people that popped their balloon. Let's go right here and figure out why they popped their balloon, okay? okay. Um, hey, can you let us know your name and why you popped your balloon? Um, Royale. Um, I just popped it because, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a real skin person, so I just popped it just off that strong. So, that's it. so you feel like his skin wasn't the best, or? Yeah, I'm really, I like, like, yeah, I'm just gonna pass. Okay. I'm dry. So it's not dry. <laughs> right. Let's talk about it. Let's chat. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, let's move right here. Um, hello. Can you tell us why you popped your balloon? Um, I popped my balloon um, because, I don't know, I'm kind of looking for somebody around my age range, so that's one of the reasons why I popped it. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. Do you have anything you want to say? or? No. No? Okay. Let's just move along. Hello. Why did you pop your balloon? Um, on balance, you know, I popped my balloon because, um, like he said, I kind of am looking for somebody around my age. I do sometimes talk to older people, um, not saying that you look older, but to look older than the older people that I would talk to, mm -hmm. if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. It don't, but okay, that's fine. I feel like it don't, but. Okay, do you have anything to respond back to? No, I mean, what is old? Not, not old, I'm saying older than me. How old are you? I'm only 22. Very young. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So is that too young for you? Absolutely. Okay, absolutely, okay. <laughs> okay, hello, and uh, why did you pop your loom today? Um, can you take your glass off? Yeah. Okay, so I, okay. Uh, I took them off, because uh, I like, I'm rough around the edges. I like wheat bread, you give me white bread, and the walk was enough for me, so yeah, sorry. Okay. okay, cool. Anything you want to respond back to? Um, <laughs> wheat bread? I like wheat, yeah. Can I give you white? Yeah. Define Real white. Soft. Soft? Soft. Wheat okay. bread is firm, you know. So you like hard bread? Clock it, next. Garlic bread. <laughs> oh, you like toast. Yeah. Ooh. Hello, and um, why did you pop your balloon and can you tell us your name? Hi, I'm Dame. <laughs> um, I popped my balloon because you said you kissed a lot of frogs and nobody's going to compare me to a reptile. Um, I'm in my princess phase. Naveen's somewhere else for you. Yeah. Clock that. It's clock. 
Yeah, absolutely. I don't think it was a match anyway. It was a match anyway? Nah. Okay. But you are in your princess here. Got it. Live for that. <laughs> um, okay. Can you tell us your name and why did you pop your balloon? My name Cam. Um, just off the rip, I just didn't kind of care for the glasses or the walk. And you kinda, you're a little older than my age rank. rank. That's it. Nothing. How old are you? I'm 25. Okay. Do you feel like 25 is too, would you date somebody 25 or is that too um, young for you or? 25 is not a bad age, but like, you know, I'm not, a lot of people are saying age. I'm not, I'm not really looking for age. I'm looking for mentality. Right. Like, you know, who are you as a person? Are you mature? You know, can you, can you match, can you very much grown man old if you have it, but I'm very much grown and mature. So can you match that? How so if you, you know you can, I'm 31. Oh. So if you know you, you feel like 31 you? is too old for you, or no, what? he just looks older than that. But I don't want, I would hate to be in public and they think that's my uncle or somebody. That's weird. <laughs> definitely never, never give an uncle. Okay. Never. All right. Well, let's just go ahead never. and move along. Uh, <laughs> hello, and you Crazy. popped your balloon today. Why did you pop your balloon? Just, just not my type. Yeah, yeah. Just, just simple, you know. Absolutely. You seem cool or whatever, but you know. Okay. Anything okay. you want to respond back to, or are you good? Good. Um, I don't think you're really my type either. I respect so, you that. Know, I respect baby like that. You know, divine reason. Okay. Yeah. Let's keep moving along then. Hello. Um, so you popped your balloon. Why did you pop your balloon? Same. I just don't think just, we would vibe. Like, that's not my type. It's not your type. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So you popped your balloon as well. Can we get why you popped your balloon? The reason why I popped my balloon was not because of no other reason, but because... When um, he had popped his balloon and said something, he basically was like, uh, let's talk about it. So that kind of gave me, like, he a little bit argumentative. And I'm kind of chill, laid back, so I don't want to be arguing. Like, <laughs> if that makes sense, like, I just don't want to be arguing. Okay, so you don't like confrontation. Um, Anything that's confrontational, you're like, yeah. ah. um, yeah. Okay, all right, well... well No, 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 no. Okay, well, it looks like you didn't find love today. It's okay. I see dirty shoes, and I don't like that, so. Who got dirty shoes? Let's point it out. Your shoes are dirty, boop. Your pants are dirty, so if you want to wear all white, do it. But I see where you was going, but your shoes are definitely dirty. But nice tabbies. Your shoes are a little dirty, but y'all see the material. Y'all see uncle. <laughs> Rich uncle. Y'all see rich uncle. Clock it. <laughs> All right, well, you didn't find love today. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, I'll, it might it's be another okay. round. It might be a next time. It might be a next time. It might not be, but you know, I'm here. All right, well, I'm, give me a hug. Yeah, I'm here. All right, I'm going to have yeah. you leave, and we're going to bring in the next contestant. Absolutely. But thank you for so much for coming on the thank show, you okay? Having me. Thank you. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our last contestant did not find love, but let's go ahead and just keep it moving. What's up, you guys? My name is Zadell. I'm 25. Um, I'm a Libra, um, and I'm from Detroit. Uh, the first time I was on here, um, I don't think I really found love. It really wasn't like no batch of dudes that really was like to my liking, but hey, I'm here to, you know, fuck with me, try with it again, you know? I'm very optimistic about it. Um, just a new experience, you know, just to really just see like what all my options are. You know, I'm a lover, I'm always optimistic to find love. Hopefully it just, if it's just organic, you know, I'm all for it, to be honest. You know, I don't really mind. What makes me a catch? I think when you meet me, I'm a very high energy person. I can adapt to any crowd. Um, you know, everybody that meets me say I'm a very loving, high energy, fun person. So um, I'm just always that 24/7. I'm a very positive person. You know, I just I think I just exude that on my aura. You know, I'm a vibe. Like you know, I'm always turned up. Oh, it makes me stand up um, from a crowd. Just like I said, I'm really turned up. Like when I come out and shit like that, like I'm really like on 10 in the most best way possible. I'm a vibe. You know, I stand 10 toes on business. You know, I'm real no matter where or no matter who I meet. You know, I'm just always going to be me. Like, Zadell is always going to be Zadell, you know, the one and only. And my name is very unique, you know. I don't think I ever met nobody named Zadell before, so I think that actually stands out, too. I don't know, maybe. On a scale of 1 to 10, how optimistic am I about finding love? I think I'm probably about, like, a 6. I'm not going to say 5 because, you know, I'm optimistic. So I'm going to say 6 because... um. I just wanted to be organic, you know, I have to look and see if you look good and shit like that. I'm not about to just pick a bitch because I feel like I want to pick a bitch. No, I'm going to just wait. And if they're not my type, I'll see you next time. 
What's up? All right, you brought your bag. Is it over here? Oh. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Um, can you tell us your name, how old you are, and what you're looking for today? Um, I'm Zadell. I'm 25. Um, I'm a Libra. Um, so I'm just looking for a good time just to get to know somebody, <laughs> vibe out. You know, shit, get to know somebody. You never know. You find a good ass vibe and you take it from there. I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and move. Somebody pop their balloon. Let's see right here. Hello. Um, Teddy, you popped your balloon today. I my balloon game. Why did you pop your balloon? <laughs> okay, let's really talk about it. Last episode, you humped the balloon, and it just, ever since then, it was just like, what the fuck? You wasn't really into my humping. No, I, the sex thing, like being a primary like motive, I can't. It, it just be, yeah. You, maybe, maybe you changed within a couple of weeks, but no, I didn't change. It is more so. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm glad we're here. We, we, we be honest. We be honest. You know, I didn't really change. You know, I'm just trying to just, you know, if I, you know, I could be attracted to people when I have sex. You know, I'm okay. sexually liberated. So. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, well, that works. Let's go ahead and let's move on right here. So, hello, you popped your balloon, and why did you pop your balloon? I popped his balloon because he seemed like a sweetheart, but a little absent-minded. Absent-minded? The, the, the walk off for, away from the camera was a bit. So when you say absent-minded, like elaborate. Slow. Slow? Oh, that's crazy. That kind of defeats my position at our work. You know, I teach geography, so I'm very educated, you know, very well-rounded in my what? vocabulary. Geography. Geography. Yeah, I'm very well-rounded in my vocabulary, my dialect, you know, but. I believe you. Hey, you know. Okay. Thank you for believing me. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So let's just like move the game a little bit ahead. So out of the people that still have their balloons, who would you pop? Um, I think everybody is very attractive. Um, uh, gang, come on, gang. You gotta play, pick somebody. I mean, if I could, like, can I pick a, a nigga balloon I wouldn't pop? You need to pick somebody that you you just don't see it for you. That's not your type. I wouldn't say I wouldn't see it for, but I have to pick and go like biggest to lowest. I guess like I mean we're low. Oh. Okay, I mean I, okay, yeah. So thank you, I appreciate that. You know, you know, you know. You know then, uh, that shit out of here. Bow, bow. Um, yeah, I mean everybody. Okay, okay. okay. So. We got about three contestants left. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so can you let us know your name and is he your type? Um, my name is Bond and he got, he got some swag to him, which I like a little edge, mm -hmm. but I also like that he's educated as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay, cool, all right. All right, and let's go right here, Rashid. Rashid, you still got your balloon? Are you, is this your type? You feeling it? Like what's, what's going on? I like that he's a um an educator. How long you been teaching? Shit, about like two years now. Well, two about years? no, about no, actually over a year, just over a year. Not over too, year? Don't give me the line. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So that's why I kept my up with Okay, cool. All right, let's move down here. What's going? Oh, let me not walk with Tart. All right, so is this your type? <laughs> I like his stature. <laughs> okay, you like his stature? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm short. I'm gonna yeah. be like tall, like yeah. I'm a, yeah, I like it. <laughs> All right, so out of these three, who are you? Who are you taking home? Um, if I had to really choose, I don't know, gang. I'd probably say you right there. You fine as hell. I won't lie. You as fine as hell. I ain't gonna lie. All right, so you so you feeling your match right here? So y'all feeling each other? I'm okay, cool. So we found another match on the show. Period. Okay, okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on. We're gonna have you guys step off and um, yeah. Thank you. All right. Come on, gang. All right. <laughs> Okay, so our last couple or our last pair did find a match, so that's exciting. Hopefully our next guy can also be as lucky, so we'll see if they can. My name is Martez, I'm 25, and I'm actually from the south suburbs of Chicago. You know, I'm coming into this very optimistic. Um, I think I'm a big person on taking people as they come, so I have no expectations, but I'm definitely here to build connections for sure. That's a very loaded question, but I definitely feel like um, I'm just one of those people that you can't forget. 
Okay, so what makes me a good catch is um, definitely I'm someone that takes people as they come. Um, I think that I come in with no baggage and also I come with a very pure palate. Um, I am someone who's never been in a relationship and also never had sex. What stands me out from the crowd, I would definitely say, um, is my sense of discernment. I think that is a lot of things that a lot of people in our generation lack but also I just again start everyone from a fresh slate and just kind of take each experience with grace and no expectations how y'all feeling <laughs> <laughs> all right well we're on the seat we're out to find out so let's go ahead and bring out the next contestant can I have you over here, here hello hello hi hello. okay and what's your name Martez Martez yes. okay and Martez how old are you I'm 25. 25. And are you from Chicago? No, I'm actually from the suburbs. Okay, you're from the suburbs. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, what are you looking for today? What type of guys are you into? I think I'm looking for someone that's very intentional, um, strong-willed, knows what it is that they're looking for, how to express their emotions, and yeah, whoever aligns with me. Okay, cool. All right, well, we had a couple guys pop their balloon. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk to the first person right here. Okay. Um, hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Why did you pop your balloon? Um, I pop my balloon because I see us being more as friends. Like, I love your style. Um, mm -hmm. You have a nice personality as well. Mm -hmm. And I can see us, like, just, like, hanging out. For sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Can move right here. Hello. Why did you pop um, your balloon? I would pretty much say the same, low key. Like, I see us being cool. Like, you seem like a cool person, like, not too much. But I, j I don't see us, okay. you know, romantically That's attracted sure. to each other. I appreciate okay. that. Okay, cool. Hello. How you um, Can you tell us your name? Tokyo. Yes. And why did you pop your balloon, Tokyo? Um, you cute, but you know, we'll definitely be friends. Okay. For sure. Okay. And is he your type? Um, I only attract to people that are for me. I think he is very handsome. I love your sense of style, but since the energy's not there, he wouldn't be somebody that I go for. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go right here. Um. You popped your balloon, why? Um, just because you just seem like one of the friends. We we would clash every day. That's it. You Nothing. say clash. Yeah. Clash every day? Yeah, arguing, it wouldn't work. So what gives you the impression that I will argue with you? Because we're the same. We, the we, same how? You're very sad. You could tell you're very sassy, so it's not gonna work. I don't think I'm sassy. I think I'm very secure. I think you're sassy, but. I am, that's why I said it wouldn't work. Right, okay, I'm glad you know. Next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, you popped your balloon. Why? Um, the the longevity thing, not my type. Uh, I, I'm not. No offense to you, but I'm just not into like you know dating the girls. It's okay. I'm a boy. No, no, no yeah. I show up as whatever it is that I feel like, whenever the moment is. But no, do your do your big one. Your do preference your one. is your preference, but I do want to make that yeah. correction to you because. I identify as someone who embraces both my masculine and feminine energies. What you get is what you get, and I respect that. And that's, you look great. That's period. Yeah, thank, yeah, thank, thank. I love that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's move along. Hello, you popped your balloon. Can I know why? For the same as, same. Like sure. visually, just not. Just not your type. Yeah. Okay. What visually Everybody, are you really into? I'm sorry. Go ahead. I like something a little bit more on the math side. Not to necessarily mean masculine, but mm -hmm. this is not what I would naturally go for. Okay. Sure. Okay. You look great. Thank you. Thank you. I think you look great. Thank you. But uh, basically, like, I don't know. I don't even feel like no type of way about the outfit. Oh, you're not feeling a rake? No. A I, no, vine, I know. The money? Okay, it's okay. No, I like your outfit. It's but, okay. But, like, uh, for me, like, you know. You got shit on. I don't know, mm -hmm. like. It's okay. It's not your tea. And I respect that. But, but no, it, it's not only that, but like, you know, I don't know. It's just, it could have been, but I feel like it wasn't slutty enough. Like, you should have. You said it wasn't slutty enough? Yeah, you like okay. hustle. <laughs> I am a pretty hustle person. Yeah, so, that's, so that's, fair. that's fair. So, yeah, like, I respect if you would that. go, I respect if you that. Would go cover out, you should have 
with a little bit of ass out of stuff. I'm know. screaming. <laughs> <laughs> well, typically I don't wear this particular shirt with uh -huh. pants, but I wanted to kind of embrace both of my mask and feminine energies in one to come authentically as myself. I feel so that. I really want to be intentional about my outfit to represent me without having to speak first. So you got one person left. They got their balloon. Hi. Um, so clearly you're feeling this person. Um, are you feeling him or how are you feeling? He's handsome. He's handsome. I am attracted to him. I would love to know more though. Okay. Um, so can you tell them a little more about yourself or what questions do you have? Um, I guess what is your definition of love and what does that look like to you? Um, I think I'm still figuring that out. Mm -hmm. I don't really come from a lot of good examples of love. Okay. Um, so I think most importantly to me is just about freedom and just the uh, room to be yourself, even mm -hmm. with all the mistakes and uh, all of the successes too, because I think a lot of times people let their egos get in the way of them being able to find love. Gotcha. I appreciate that. Okay, so how you feeling? Are you feeling them? You not I'm feeling them? I'll be interested to know more. Okay, cool. So you're not popping a balloon? No. All right, so it's looking like we got another match. Hey. All right. <laughs> Period. Y'all want to give each other a hug? Or it's not, yes, it's not there I would love to give you a hug. <laughs> I also have you a gift. If someone can bring me the gift, please. Oh, you have a gift? Thank you. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. That's so sweet. So much. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, thank you all for coming yeah, okay. on the show. All right, so our last couple did find love, so that's good, yay. All right, so we got one last contestant. Let's go ahead and see if they can find love. Let's go ahead and bring them out. Hey, what's going on, y'all? I'm Ken, I'm 37 years old, I'm from Chicago, and I'm back again for episode two of Find Love. Yeah, y'all probably saw the bullshit that happened, but hopefully we do find love this time. Well, we'll see. I feel like I'm the ultimate catch because it's not just my personality, but as well as how I carry myself in the things I do. I'm a lover, I'm a father, I'm a nurturer. I mean, I'm, I'm everything that somebody could want. What makes me a standout from the crowd is that my look, my style, my, my aura, you, when people see me, they wanna get to know me. They wanna be around me. They wanna catch a vibe from me. They wanna hug me, they wanna smell me, they wanna touch me, all five senses. I don't go in finding love, I go in naturally and let things flow. But at the same time, I'm open for everything, so I give myself a, I'm pretty much for nine this time. Last time, it was a little rough with the episode one, but this time, we really here looking for love. And hopefully, it's somebody out there, because I don't want to bust no balloons. Before we start, thank you. Oh. 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 Pop it for me. I like you, but I know him. Can you stand right here? Wait, 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 wait. So let's get this straight. So do you know most of the cast or you just wasn't feeling I it? What's know, going on? I know some of them and some of them, we just cool. It wouldn't be none of that. So you're not feeling Like, I have no problem with none of them. Nobody. But as relationship-wise, no. I ain't even going to waste their time more, man. Okay. We so all grown. And can, we, can I know why, though? Can we know why? You I mean, I'm, I mean... If some of them know me, know already how I am. And it ain't like trying to do all that or do all extra shit, but I know them. Like, I, I know him from different situations. We have a genuine connection. I know him. We have a genuine connection. I know him through years. I met him through him. Like, I know, like, certain people, but this just not, not going sure to gonna be nothing. Okay. But hanging out. I mean, I don't you know. I don't know, but at the same time, <laughs> like, with, like I say, like, with me and you, it could have, I don't know. Uh, it's just, it's just, it's, but, 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 but your affiliations will make that, that pop. Okay, so let me ask this. Do anybody in this lineup, if he had not popped your balloon, do you feel as if he is your type or no? Hold on, let's go down here. Come on. Let's go down here. Look at Rick. We all like this part. <laughs> now, what did you say? I said I would have heard him out. You would have heard him out? Yeah. Okay. And, but he's just, you're still not feeling him. He's just still I mean, not your type. I, 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 I mm, no. It ain't no. nothing. You're an handsome guy and everything, but no. Thank you. It ain't no. Sorry. So it's just nothing. Like literally, it was only one person, but it's just the affiliation that make me don't want to. Who talk was the Who was the one person with the red hat? Oh, with the red hat. Okay. With the red hat. What? Yeah. What's the affiliation? Can we? Can we get? Can we get that tea? Who is, what's the What's the affiliation? I mean, it, it no, I ain't come, see, I didn't come out here on no rampage or nothing, but I can, it wasn't even, no, it really wasn't giving that, because I ain't gonna lie, all y'all are handsome people, all y'all are handsome men, but I already, I already can see probably, like, looking at him, 
his sternness and all that, it ain't gonna work. I already can see that off him, off GP. I'm very on big orders now. It ain't gonna work. We'll end up clashing or something. It'll be wrong. Okay. But like, like I said, it, it's What's the just connection? what. What's the connection with? You? We know, we know a mutual person uh, that I'm not on good terms with. Okay, okay. Uh, and 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 but like, but yeah. All right. I mean, we know each other, so you never know. All right, Ken. Well, it's looking like you did. <laughs> All right, so this concludes today's episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you all next time.